In today's video, not one but two Nissan March R's. Also, two super sad super turbos. G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and thank you so much for joining me for another Wasabi Cars video. Hope you are doing well. And surprise, surprise, today I've got a car from the 90s. What the hell is going on? Like seriously, I never thought there'd be much crossover between Mighty Car Mods and Wasabi Cars. Well, aside from Moog's recent S30 purchase, but today we've got a car they featured many, many years ago. Okay, that wasn't a March R, but you know what I mean. And while I've got you, question of the day marks its return, so stick around for that. Now, before you bash away at your keyboards and tell me the car is in fact a Micra, have a think about this. Did you happen to watch this recent Mighty Car Mods video where Marty asked, is it a Nissan or a Datsun? Moog sensibly responded that it's a JDM, it's in Japan, it is a Nissan. And using that same reasoning, this car is not a Micra, it is a March. Now this being Wasabi Cars, I'm of course obliged to show you some rough examples. Now when I was down in Kagoshima many years ago, I did see this. At the time, I knew it was something special, but I didn't know the significance. The next Super Turbo I saw was Buried. Have a good look here. And then again from the back. Super Turbo. Now there were two other marches I spotted of this generation. I'm not sure what the grade is, but there's one and there's another. Time now to get into the nitty gritty and the Super Turbo and the Nissan March R are basically the same car. The March R is just more stripped back. Engine, mechanical, suspension are all the same. Now the engine is quite a remarkable thing, it is a 4 cylinder, 930cc engine, the technical uh, code name thing is uh, MA09ERT, it features a single overhead cam and a supercharger and a turbocharger. As you're driving around town up to 4000 RPM, the supercharger is in use and produces 10 PSI. Then when there's a need to go a little bit faster, the turbocharger kicks in and that produces 14 PSI. And the interesting thing is when this transition happens, the supercharger disengages via a magnetic clutch. Kind of like the Mad Max supercharger, but not quite. Next, let's dive into the interior because that's where the major differences were between the Super Turbo and the March R. From the factory, the March R had four point racing seats. The steering wheel was also different. This one's got a Momo. And check this out, the March R had a taller gear stick. I mean, we all know that rally drivers are notorious for having short arms. There of course must be practical reasons, but not being a rallyer, I've got no clue. Now this particular car is not the best example to show you that the March R's interior is much more stripped down, much more basic, because this one is full. And it doesn't take a genius to know that this car is set up for one thing and one thing only, rallying. Um, yeah. Rally bits and pieces everywhere, but check out those drink holders. Well, it looks like this video is going to be a short one. To be honest, I want to get this video out and spend some time with my son. That'd be awesome. Hey, everyone, please tell everyone on this planet about Wasabi Cars. That would be a massive help. And as promised, question of the day is, what was so awesome that you bought two of? I don't mean like two shoes. I mean, you need one, but you bought two. I bought two. HQ Sandman t-shirts when I was back in Australia. I love that. I love that squared, in fact. Everyone, thank you so much. Take it easy. Have yourself a great week and catch you next time. See ya.